kitchen has gotten a little out of hand lately and I'm not really talking about the surface. I'm pretty good at keeping the surface clean, but the inside of the cabinets and drawers have really taken a toll and it's been many years since I have like reorganized them and rethought them and I think that there are some changes I need to make to suit the busy kitchen and the functioning a lot better. So if you like organization, join me today. I'll talk you through my process, but most importantly, I'll share with you my finished day's work of how it all came together. And hopefully you can walk away with some organization tips and hacks. I actually love to organize. It brings me a lot of joy. So I'm excited to do this and take you along with me. I think the best way to start a big organization project is to just dig in. <laughs> There's really no way around it. My personal preference is to just empty things out in the same section where I know I'm going to be reworking some things. Just get it all out on the countertop so I can see what I have, think it through, and then scrub all the drawers and cupboards and get them all clean and then start putting it back together. Now, as you can see, it's pretty bad here. We have crumbs at the end of the drawers and all sorts of trouble spots that really are causing more work than needed in the kitchen. And so it's important to keep them organized so that it's just easier to work with. Now, there was a particular section in the kitchen where we kept like most of the things that are needed for cooking, like the chopping knives and the utensils. And we were noticing that when people would be cooking or prepping food on the countertop, that it would get in the way of people needing to get utensils. And so we're always trying to work around each other and move around and it was a little bit frustrating. So those were the sections I specifically wanted to make a lot of improvement on where I place things. But as for the rest of the kitchen, Things had just gotten placed in random places that didn't really make sense and then we adapted to that and somehow it became the norm. So it was just really important to take things out and rethink a better functioning kitchen. Now, this is the area where all the knives were and the utensils that had the biggest switch around and it's been a little tricky to get to adjust to but it's totally possible. Now to clean these really just a wet rag is great. I like to use my force of nature cleaning spray. I did a whole video on that if you guys want to learn more but it's great for cleaning. I am so excited today to share with you today's video sponsor, Azure Standard. Now you have heard me talk about Azure Standard so many times on my podcast. I've done Azure hauls here on my YouTube channel where you can see the many things I buy from Azure, as well as I created a blog post where I keep adding my favorites that I have discovered from Azure Standard. Now, if you're not familiar with Azure Standard, let me tell you a little bit about them, but then also check my description because they have given me a promo code that you can use if you're a first time customer and you spend over $50, which is not hard to do <laughs> when you're buying groceries in bulk. But anyway, let me tell you about Azure Standard and then you can check the description for a link and promo code to use if you wanna give them a try. So Azure is like a co-op where they have provided amazing foods. What I love about them is they, how they source foods. The organic options they have is so amazing and is so much more affordable when you're buying them in bulk like this. So they just have great farming and sourcing practices and amazingly delicious foods. So that's the first thing to love about them. But because it's a co-op, what they do is they have people or someone around you will organize a drop and then you sign up for that drop that is local to you and there are tons of them. I think you'll be so surprised at how many drops are already created for you to sign up for. So you make your order and together as a group, you pay for the shipping of that big truck to come and give everyone their goods. So we're all kind of sharing the cost, making things more affordable and making it more accessible for everyone. And it's awesome and I just am so grateful that Azure has created this service, that is willing to let me talk about them and share my love for them, and I just can't say enough. So you'll see in our little pantry here that we have in the kitchen, um, I'm storing a lot of the Azure foods and snacks that I have bought, 
And our pantry is where I store most of that because our pantry is mainly where I have like the bulk things. And then this little small pantry cabinet in our kitchen just serves kind of our snacks and lunch makings and things. But the pantry is a project for another day. <laughs> so today I'm just working through the kitchen and then I definitely want to hit the pantry next. Hopefully I'll share that soon. Anyway, thank you Azure for sponsoring this video and I really hope you guys check them out if you haven't already. If you do love Azure, let us know in the comments some of your favorite products to buy. I love hearing what other people have discovered from Azure Standard. Rather than talk you through every cupboard that I put back together and rearrange things, I'd rather just let you sit back and enjoy seeing how it all came together. Please check out my blog post at tidbitsandcompany.com to find more details about every single cupboard and what I put there and the function if you want to learn more. But for now, just sit back and enjoy seeing how the kitchen all came together, how it's so much more organized and we are really loving it and I hope this has given you some inspiration to get your own home organized and a lot of good kitchen organization ideas. Thanks for joining me, my friends. I'll be back very soon to share more inspiration for the keeper of the home.